A round of new UT Texas Tribune polls results uh, were just released and they show President Trump leading his opponent Joe Biden in Texas 50 to 45 percent. However, Biden does lead when it comes to women and minority voters. The poll also revealed that 91 percent of people say they are unlikely to change their vote at this point. A mayoral candidate in Carrollton was arrested for forging mail-in ballots. Zul Muhammad is charged with 109 felony counts relating to voter fraud. Now, police say he registered a P.O. box with a fake ID and requested ballots from a nursing home to go there. In an effort to protect you this flu season during the pandemic, Kroger Health is offering drive through flu shots this weekend in Fort Worth. You can get your shot this afternoon from 12 to 6 p.m. in the Chevy parking lot at Dickey's Arena. For more information, you can visit our website, WFAA.com. And that's your morning rush, Mark. Thank you, Sonia. We've got a lot of new information in the fight against COVID-19 that we want to get to you. Judge Clay Jenkins, as we mentioned before, issuing some new guidelines for Halloween. Plus, we're learning more about bars reopening in North Texas. Hannah Davis joins us from her home this morning with what we need to know heading into the weekend. Happy Friday morning, Hannah. Happy Friday, Mark. And yeah, a lot of new information coming in the last 24 hours. So let's get right to it so you guys can get informed. Let's first take a look at what's happening with the bar situation across North Texas. So far, two of our big counties will allow bars to open next week at 50%. That's Denton County and Collin counties. Tarrant County has not announced a decision and Dallas County has said it's a no for now. Earlier this week, Governor Abbott relaxed the rules on bars, but county judges have to sign off on those. We're also hearing warnings about public gatherings for two October traditions. First, the Texas OU game this weekend. Health experts are advising people to avoid large or risky gatherings for the game. And new information regarding Halloween is coming out as well. Dallas County officials are recommending people not go trick-or-treating, saying it's difficult to socially distance and is an excellent opportunity for COVID spread. Let us know if you were planning on taking part in trick-or-treating. Vote in our poll by going to WFA.com slash vote now. Here are some of the suggestions for Halloween during a pandemic if this is what you're going to choose to do. Number one, place treats on porch on the porch steps or on a table in the driveway with a sign asking children to take one candy only. They also recommend distributing treats by hanging them on a wall or a fence. Pretty creative. Limit the number of houses children can visit. Carry hand sanitizer and use it often. And finally, encourage social distancing. Again, we want to hear what your plans are for Halloween, how you're going to do it. And if you have any tips or tricks on staying safe while doing so, use that hashtag I am up to let us know. Back to you guys.